fans too. <laughs> Thank you. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you show traffic chat? No, this is the BQE one. They won't let us near 108th Street, LaGuardia. Visibility is so bad that everything is on like a, you know, fly as you can see. So they won't let us any closer to the airport. That's not so bad. I'll just say LaGuardia won't let us get any closer. Holy cow! Holy cow! We have pictures for you. If you can power us up, we have photos for you. Are those our pictures? Okay.
Check, can you get it in center screen? Hi, it's Melinda. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody give me information? What's the plan? We are up. We understand police have banned helicopters from getting too close. Uh, we will have to stay back and cannot get correctly of the scene. Uh, we will do our best. Holy shit. That is unbelievable. Anybody know what kind of plane it was? Two planes? A, a major airline. It's Melinda. Can anybody give me any information, please? It's Melinda. Can anybody talk to me, please? Check. Can you zoom in? It looks like there's some flame at the bottom of the thing. Yes, I have nobody talking to me. Hi, it's Melinda. Who's there, please? Hey, it's me. How are you? I'm just trying to get some information about what the plan is. We have photographs for you guys. These visuals are unbelievable. Are they doing a cut-in? What, what's the plan? Can you help me out? We are as close as we can to it. Uh, they will not allow us directly over it. They have banned us from the area. Police are asking that we stay back so they can do what they need to do. Uh, the initial um, guess out of the different air towers is that it was a 727 or a 737. It may even have possibly been two planes. We're not sure. The second plane hit while they were live on television. Can we go around to the other side? I understand. We are on. We can't hear you. This is Air 11. I do. Am I going to talk? What's the deal? We have no TV air. I cannot see pictures on TV. I do not know what we have. I wonder. Yes, I, I do hear you. Uh, the problem, I do hear you, Anthony. I hear you. We do not have TV air, so I can't see anything. Are we going to take a? Are we going to do a break-in? Do you want me to talk, or are they just taking visuals? Yes, I understand. How long do you want me to talk? I don't have much information. I will. What floor is that, Chet? The upper quarter of the building, right?
Good morning. You're looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center Tower 1 from Manhattan Lower District. As you can see, we have uh, a, a very serious fire in the World Trade Center. What we understand, the information is still early and coming, but what we understand is that two separate planes have hit Tower 1, uh, which is uh, the tower that you're seeing uh, on your picture right now. As you can see, there are flames. There is a massive fire here at this uh, Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. It's in the upper portion of the building, probably the upper quarter of the tower. Now, of course, the problem with fighting something like this is that it is, uh, you can't do an external attack. Firefighters are going to have to go on the inside of this building to actually uh, uh, fight this t particular fire. Uh, they're going to have to be using things like high-rise packs and standpipe packs. They're going to be setting up a command center here, and they'll be using a cascade system to refill their air bottles. Now, the air bottles only carry 30 to 45 minutes of air, so you can imagine what it's going to be like to try to attack this fire, because they're going to have to climb up this many stories to get to the actual fire, and then probably immediately have to turn around and get their air packs uh, re repacked. Uh, now, what we understand is, again, two separate planes have hit this. Uh, we don't understand why at this point, but we do know that two planes, we're not sure what size planes they were, but we think they were substantial in size, have hit the World Trade Center. This, again, is Tower 1. Uh, we do not know exactly what happened as far as to why they have hit this, but you can see that there is a big plume of smoke which is towering into the air. I would say it goes back a couple of miles at this point, even further. You can certainly see it from almost anywhere in this area. Uh, both towers have smoke coming out of them, so it is possible at this point that Tower 2 is also on fire. It's hard for us to tell at this vantage point. As you can well imagine, police are keeping us at a distance from this so that they can do the work they need to do. What we recommend to you people who are watching this from Lower Manhattan is to please turn off your water. Do not use any water that you do not need. Do not use your dishwasher. Do not use your washing machine. Firefighters need all the water pressure they can gather at this point. It's also a very good idea to stay out of lower Manhattan. Firefighters and other emergency equipment are trying to make their way there right now. And uh, as you can imagine, this has probably already been made an all-hands emergency. That basically means that everybody, even if people are off of work right now, they have been called in to battle this blaze. Again, for those of you who are just joining us, you are looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center. That is Tower 1 on your screen right now. Two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center. We are not certain why that has happened, but it has happened. You can see the flames uh, through the smoke there, and there is a very dark nauseous fume coming out of that. Uh, we can almost smell it from where we are, which is several miles away at this point. You can also see uh, the plume of smoke from many, many miles away. Now, again, as we said, it's going to be very hard and very difficult to battle this blaze because it is in the upper portion of this tower. Tower 2 also has smoke coming out of it, and we, again, are not sure exactly what that is about. Uh, we'll, again, try to keep you up to date with this as we get more information, but what we do know is that two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. Uh, we do have firefighters on the scene. They are going to have to do an internal battle of this blaze. They cannot do anything from the external because it's so high. makes it very difficult to vent a fire like this as well. It also makes it difficult to battle it because they're going to have to use high-rise packs, and they're also going to have to use bottles, uh, air bottles. And the air bottles only carry to 30 to 45 minutes supply. Then they have to go back to the cascade system to refill. So they're going to have to be bringing bottles up as they fight and as they battle this uh, throughout the morning. So uh, it will take some time to get this cleared. There will be obviously a lot of traffic in and around downtown Manhattan. It's a very good idea to stay out of the downtown area. Please do not use your water unless you have to. Firefighters need all the water that they can garner at this point. And again, as you can see, this is still an ongoing battle. I mean, we have major flame in inside this building. You can imagine the heat of this. And of course, the World Trade Center is no stranger to uh, fire and to other problems. There was the World Trade Center bombing several years ago. Uh, firefighters do know the, the layout of this building, but it has been several years since this happened. So it, uh, again, there will be some new firefighters on the scene of this. Uh, as you also remember, there was a B-52, which hit the Empire, I'm sorry, B-25, correct that, B-25, which hit the Empire State Building uh, many years ago after the war. And so uh, this is the second building in Manhattan to have been hit by a plane. Again, we're not sure if both planes or one plane was hit. It looks like uh, perhaps both fire towers are on fire. We're not sure exactly what happened here. But again, uh, there are two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. There is a major fire battling right now. Firefighters are in there for a major fight. The stairwells, of course, are how people are going to be evacuated. People will be evacuated out of these buildings. 
Do not, if you are watching this from the Royal Trade Center, do not get on an elevator. It is not a good idea to use an elevator in the middle of a fire. Obviously, uh, the, the water and other fire can short out the equipment, so you will have to walk down. The World Trade Centers, of course, are among the tallest buildings in the world, making this an even more complicated fire to battle. Fortunately, the good thing that we can say is that the firefighters in Manhattan are very, very talented when it comes to fighting high-rise fires. This is what they do best. They've been trained for it and trained for it and trained for it, and today is the day they're going to have to use that training. Uh, again, for you who are just joining us, we are showing you live pictures of the World Trade Centers. As you can see, they are on fire. Both towers, the tower on the left is Tower 1, the tower on your right is Tower 2. We understand that two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. We are not sure if they... Uh, if there was some kind of technical malfunction, if this was some type of other attack. We're not exactly sure what happened yet. We do know two separate planes. We feel that they are fairly substantial in size from initial reports. We do not know exactly what they were. But again, both towers are on fire. Tower 1 obviously suffering the biggest fire from what we can see at our vantage point. We are not able to move to a different point simply because the police have asked us to stay back so they can do the work that they need to do in this general area. They are setting up a general command center, or at least you would be expected for them to be able to do that, uh, to be able to set up a general uh, command center. Now then, um, high-rise packs are being used here. We have a cascade system, uh, which is used to refill the air bottles. Air bottles carry to 30 to 45 minutes worth of air, as we just mentioned, and uh, that's how they're going to have to use this because these fumes are very noxious. If you're uh, somebody, again, watching from the Royal Trade Center, it's a good idea if you're in the middle of this fire to be sure and fill your door before you actually open it. If, there, if it is hot, it is better to leave the door closed than it is to open it and let the flame in. Also, it's better to hit the floor and not stand up. Smoke rises, and the smoke, of course, will go to the ceiling uh, if you are watching this from the World Trade Center. Uh, again, use the stairwell. Do not use the elevators. That is the worst thing that you can do. For those of you who are not in the World Trade Center and watching this down in Lower Manhattan, please turn off your water. Do not use any water you do not need. They will need all the water pressure they can possibly garner at this point. Uh, this is a tough place to battle. Uh, obviously, if a jetliner hits or any type of plane hits an Empire State, a uh, World Trade Center like this, there's going to be a lot of fuel on board, possibly. That fuel is very difficult to uh, put out. And, of course, all the other stuff inside the building itself, which is going to give quite a bit of fuel to this fire. Firefighters uh, will probably issue an all-hands call. That means everybody who is available, including those who are off for the day, will be called in to battle this blaze. Uh, that is the highest of all alarms, higher than a general alarm, and that means firefighters from all over the area will be called to battle the blaze. Again, it will be an internal attack. They cannot do anything externally because of the height of this. It's the top portion of the World Trade Center, the very top portion of the World Trade Center. We have a maybe, oh, I would say it's probably the top fifth of the World Trade Center, Tower 1, and maybe the, the top half of World Trade Center 2. Again, we're not sure if both or one of the towers was hit by a plane, but we do know two separate planes hit the towers and that that has resulted in this battle of uh, the blaze that we are watching right now. We do see flames in Tower 1. You can see it at the base of the smoke on the left, and we do know that there's some very serious fire which they're having to battle here today. Again, if you're just joining us, you're looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. And uh, what we understand is that uh, two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center, causing, as you can tell, a massive explosion and fire. There are flames, as you can see, through the windows, through that smoke. You can see that there must be a major, major fire, which people are having to battle right now. Um, hopefully, people are going to be able to get out safe. Those stairwells, of course, are built especially for disasters like this. We do have disaster teams in Manhattan. Out of all cities for this to happen to, Manhattan, of course, is one of the best equipped. Uh, we have some of the best firefighters in the world, if not the best in the world who are going to be able to battle the blaze. It will be an internal attack. There will no, there's nothing you can really do external. And, uh, and again, we do have smoke coming out on all sides of the World Trade Centers at this point, and the World Trade Center Tower 2 is also on fire. Uh, they're going to be using uh, the command center. Uh, we'll be issuing different commands and trying to coordinate this. This is a massive thing that they actually have to, to coordinate. Now, there's also an awful lot of debris which uh, is falling from this building, so they're obviously keeping people out of this general area, but debris will be following. So even people who are getting out of this building kind of have to be very careful as they come out not to be hit by some of the falling debris. That can be just as dangerous as being inside in many ways. Um, but you can see the heat and the intensity of the flame in there. This is going to be a very difficult fire to, for firefighters to battle. They are going to have to do it wearing high-rise packs, and they're going to have to be using air bottles in order to be able to fight the fire. Those air bottles only handle 30 to 45 minutes worth of air, 
So the cascade system will be in place to help keep those bottles filled. Um, also, it's just a very important to know they cannot vent this from the outside because obviously it's such a tall tower. Uh, it is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Both of these buildings are. And of course, what we have here is the very top portion of Tower 1 is on fire. You can see the side of Tower 1 is also, it's now the fire is starting to vent out to the side here. There is falling building. There's a lot of glass in this building. There's a lot of other fuel. As you can imagine, if a plane hits a building like this, there is a lot of fuel in both possibly the plane as well as the building. There's a lot for it to eat up, a lot of stuff which is very noxious that's going to make it very difficult for people. If you're in the building, it's a good idea to wet a rag, cover your mouth with it, hit the floor, feel the door before you actually open the door uh, that makes it very difficult because uh, you don't want to open the door if it's hot that's the worst thing you can do uh, air traffic control has asked us to move back from the buildings we are now on the other side of the Hudson River I would say um, actually over the New Jersey Turnpike we're bringing you live pictures of the World Trade Center as you can see both towers Tower 1 and Tower 2 on fire Tower 1 on your left the upper portion of Tower 1 Tower 2 is also on fire from probably the middle portion of the building. That fire does not seem to be as serious, although it's hard to tell from our vantage point. And this is the best vantage point that air traffic control will let us have at this point, as you can well imagine. If you are tuning in and watching from Lower Manhattan, it's a very good idea. Again, do not turn on your water. Please do not use your washing machine. Do not use your dishwasher. Firefighters need all the water pressure they can get at this point. Very, very important for us that you actually uh, heed these firefighters. They really need your help in this one. This is how you can help out. Again, do not go wandering downtown. They need all the ability that they can do to get to these different areas. They need to be able to set up their command centers, get the different firefighting equipment down there. It's just a good idea. Please do not sightsee. This is not the time to do it. Uh, you can look at the pictures here on television. That's really going to be your best view anyway. However, if you are somewhere in New Jersey or Brooklyn or even in Queens, you probably can see the plume. I mean, you can probably see this from the George Washington Bridge. There is a huge plume of smoke into the sky. We are hovering at about 1,500 feet. That plume goes at least another 500, if not another 1,000 feet above us. Uh, as you well know, the World Trade Center is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Another plane has hit in New York City before. It hit the Empire State Building shortly after the war. It was a B-25 at that point. And uh, so this is not the first time that a plane has hit a high rise in Manhattan. We do not know the circumstances as to why these two planes have hit the World Trade Center. We are trying to garner some information for you. But as of now, we do know two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center. And uh, you can well imagine that there's going to be a lot of questions which will be a asked and people are trying to get the information for as we speak. Meanwhile, again, firefighters will have to fight these fires from the inside. I thought we were on the air. Thank God. Why can't we see air? Why can't we see air? Yeah, keep talking. So keep talking. Take your time, Chet. We're still on cable. You're still taking your pictures. I don't know. I can't see anything. They're still taking your pictures, though. That's why we're not doing cut-ins, because we can't get a receive a signal. Oh, my God. Those poor people. No, it's Melinda. Okay, I did not know that all the airports are closed in the New York area. All airports in the New York area are closed. Yes. Anthony, I can. 
Anthony, I need a second to get some information. I have nothing. Can you give me five seconds? Um, what else can you tell me? How many people work in the World Trade Center? When was the World Trade Center bombing? When did the B-25 B hit the uh, Empire State? Do we know how many people hit live in the world uh, work in the World Trade Center? Nineteen forty five, B twenty five crashed into the seventy ninth floor of the Empire State Building. World Trade Center was bombed in nineteen ninety three. Uh, you said there's been more than a thousand other buildings hit by airplanes. I, what was that, Anthony? No. Oh, I got it. No, I can't hear it. Anthony, can you change it? Because it's... Can you hit seven for me? I can only hear... Just a sec. Hang on. I don't like being up in this. Do we know what, who this attack is by? I heard it. I just heard that. Yeah. All right, listen, the military is going to enforce a no-fly zone over here. They're sitting in armed planes to keep planes away from this. I don't know how long we're going to be able to stay up. We'll just have to see.
We must have just landed. We must have just turned our way when it hit. I'm listening to Channel 7, by the way, and getting some information from them uh, because they've got Peter Jennings on. Listen, uh, do we know... Do we know what time this happened? What's our plan? Are we off the air because our world, because the World Trade Center has our broadcast thing? All right. Anything you want, let me know because I've got some information now. I can go again whenever you need. No, they're saying it's a commercial jet in size. Uh, eyewitnesses from the ground are reporting that they saw a large plane, a commercial jet in size. They're not sure what kind it was yet. You don't know you. What's an, a, what's an ATR? What's an ATR? Yeah, that'd be great, Chet. I'm not hearing him. Yeah. Yes, I hear. I hear, I hear. We're looking, we're looking. Another plane is hit. God, please don't let us get in the middle of this. I hear you. Anthony, I hear you. We're looking. Can I have my vest? Brenda, can you hand me my vest? Chet, don't pay attention to me. Uh, there's a helicopter. They're going to shoot down another plane, Anthony. Uh, we're not going over the water, okay. Okay, good, I love you. They're going to shoot down another plane. I do not see it. I'm looking for the other plane. We're looking. Hundreds of people are going to die in this. Can I open your window, Ray? Is that okay? Thanks. Okay. Where does it say how much fuel it carries? It, max TO? Is that TO? Is that fuel? Yes. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. East River Bridges, too.
Yes, we can record in the helicopter. We can record in the helicopter. We've been recording the whole time. We've been recording the whole time. We are recording. We are recording. We have been the whole time. My husband works down there. I hope he's okay. He works right by it. We need to keep an eye on our fuel, and uh, we'll have to fuel, obviously, not if we're not there. I have my key, I think. Yeah. Go ahead, Daniela. I'm never getting home today. All bridges and tunnels to and out of the city are closed. The airports are closed. There is a no-fly zone in force over Manhattan right now. Military, armed military personnel are actually enforcing that no-fly zone. Uh, here's what else I know. World Trade Center each was hit. Uh, the first shortly before nine, uh, Tower One was hit shortly before 9 a.m. with what appears to be an ATR plane, which is a prop plane. The second tower, which is Tower Two, was hit shortly after that, 18 to 20 minutes afterwards. Um, that, and that, they believe, was a 727. I have information on the 727, the, wind span, the wingspan, how long it is, how much fuel it carries. Um, I have statements from the president. I know what he said. I know about uh, the the times before. I can't. I'm not getting anything up. Oh, it is. The Pentagon's on fire. God, my husband's down there. Well, they just declared war, so
You see, right, that the Pentagon's been hit, too. Turn on CBS. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Chet? Yeah. The one time we actually leave, we're like, don't worry, there won't be a big story. <laughs> Washington Miles on fire. Yes, all, tower, all tunnels in and out of New York City, all bridges are closed at this point. All airports are closed, Logan Airport's closed, the Pentagon has also been hit, and the Washington Mile is also on fire. A caravan of police cars just headed to the Midtown Tunnel. Do you see anything? We don't see any flames from up here, anywhere out that way towards the Midtown Tunnel. Oh my God, it was a 757 out of Boston that was hijacked, an American Airlines flight. Did you hear that, what I said?
Do you hear what they said? Hijacked 757 out of Logan Airport. Crashed into. Daniela, just so you know, I'm getting information off the other air. I don't think they're going to take me live. If they do, I'm, I'm, we're ready. But we will have to fuel, and we cannot fuel anywhere nearby. Uh, it'll probably be another half hour, 45 minutes. We can't fuel in the city, and we can't fuel at Ridgefield Park. They're closed. Yes, I can. God, I need more than one monitor. <laughs> yes. Yes. Go ahead, Marcia. Marcia, here's some extra information for you guys. Fire is breaking on the lower floors now. It's starting to spread below where it looks like the plane hit. That could possibly be from the fuel spill, or it could be just that the fire has now started to eat below itself. It's a 757. Holy cow, that's huge. No, I've got um, a lot of stuff off the other other things, though. Major uh, military institutions have all been evacuated. They're evacuating the State Department right now. You know, all airports are closed. Can we stay up? Ray. Anthony, we have to move. Air traffic control is asking us to move so that we can look at an aircraft that's headed our way. We need to look, okay? It's a helicopter, it's a helicopter sorry. Helicopter is a helicopter. Don't, don't panic, but we're just trying to figure out what it is. Set, channel 7. They're evacuating LaGuardia Tower. They are evacuating the airport tower. It's Melinda. Listen, uh, they've evacuated LaGuardia Tower. I just want you guys to know LaGuardia Tower has been evacuated. I 
have a knot in my stomach. I'm so... FAA has ordered all aircraft across the country to land at the nearest airport. Does that mean us too? I just heard on 7 that they've, the FAA has banned, oh wow, look at that video, holy cow. Oh my god, what's going on? On channel 7, it's like the side of the building just blew out, Chet, on the other side, the side we can't see. It just blew out. Look at it. Oh my god! Are we landing? Anthony, the whole second tower collapsed. The whole building is gone. The whole building.
Daniela, did you hear me? The entire second building collapsed. It is gone. They are letting us stay up. I'm not sure why. Newark is allowing us to stay up. We are... Only the news helicopters are allowed up out of the entire country. We're like five people in the air. That's it. There is additional fire. right there. My sister-in-law works across the street from the World Trades. Yes, we have recorded all of it. My husband works next door. Yeah. 430-6475. Four three zero six four seven five. No, they're letting us stay up. I'm not sure why, but they are. I guess because they realize it's a newsworthy event. I mean, FAA has banned all aircraft from being up in the air. Thanks. All right, get over it. Tom's a big guy, he takes care of himself, he's fine. I have, I have, well I talked to him though. I have so many friends who live, work in that building, you have no idea. I have a lot of friends who work. My sister-in-law works across the street from the World Trade Center Tower, too. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. I talked to Tom when it first happened, but my sister-in-law works across the street from Tower 2. Daniel, I hate to ask you to do this. Can you do something else for me? Um, can you call my father and let him know I'm okay? He, uh, he's old and he gets really panicked. His number is 201-583-9335. He just moved to New York. He doesn't know where anything is. He has no idea where I work. 201-583-9335. Do you mind? Thanks. like unbelievable it's just it's just incomprehensible that that is on fire and that some asshole hijacked a plane and that the whole world trade center tower two is gone yeah it's gonna go too stay on it chet
Can you just imagine what's going on inside? <laughs> oh, yeah. I gave you my number. Sorry. I'm so freaked out. 201-945-5414. Uh, Sorry, thanks. 945-5414. Thank you. Who's flying so close? There is somebody really close over there. So who's up here? Fox and us? Is it just us and Fox? Chet, pull back a little bit. If it collapses, you want to see the whole building. We were up in the air by about five after nine, weren't we? No, we were up, they were 18 minutes apart. We were up right after the second one hit. I kept waiting to get this call. Chet, yeah, you say it's very likely it's going to collapse, right? I know it. What? Is that one of ours? Go back to the building, Chad. If the building collapses, that's what we want to see. It's very likely that the building tower one will collapse. I want you guys to know it's very likely. Chet was a firefighter. It's got an awful lot of flame. The smoke is getting darker. Move away. So we just got word that all the subways have been closed. Double check that. I hear that all the subways have been closed. What? Yes, I do. Anthony, uh, there, it's very possible. What? I got that from ABC. ABC National Network said that the subways were closed. And CBS, one of the two, because I'm watching both of them, so I don't know which one said it. Listen, it's very likely that we're going to have to land. They're telling us we may have to land soon. It's also very likely that Tower 1 will collapse, hopefully, before we land. If it does, I mean, at least get the video. That's a horrible thing to say, but you know, we're in news after all. Daniela, it's very likely that Tower 1 will collapse. I just want you to know. Um, is that PD helicopter too close? We need to tell him to back up. <laughs> Do 
Daniela, did you talk to my dad? What? Do you hear what I just said? That they think the Capitol's on fire now? That there's been an explosion there? ABC's reporting the Capitol is on fire. Sorry, Oop, let me put these back on. My feet stink. I know. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's just it. The whole mass of humanity in that building that were trying to get down those stairs and the firefighters trying to get up the stairs, we're all just wiped out. All these truck drivers have just pulled over. God, the Bush administration, of all freaking administrations to be in power. You know what I mean? I mean, like, whatever you think about him, he is not a world leader. You know what I mean? I don't care. Oh, my God. The Pentagon is falling apart. I don't mean that, but you know, we have to, well, you know what I mean. I just, his dad, now that would have been okay, you know, fine. Or even, even Clinton did okay in the international scene. You know, he wasn't like my favorite president for a lot of things, but at least he like, he's been out of the country. <laughs> Bush has been out of the country twice, three times now.
We are fine. We have uh, three and a half. We have another good 20, 30 minutes in here. Right? Right? I'm good at the fuel gauge. <laughs> I look at it. They don't have it sprinkled? It's not, there's no sprinklers in the building? Yeah. Yep. It's going to. But if we if it's going to, I want to be up where it happens. The first one hit lower and so that did more damage. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. I'm stunned that they're letting us stay. Is that only because there's nobody in the towers? They've all been evacuated? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to be shot down if we try to move. <laughs> Where are we going to land, Ray? Well, there's a possibility I might want to go to fuel because they might just get it out of So I'll call when they're uh, ready. I am so glad you're here with me today. Can I tell you that? I feel very confident. I would be panicked with some other pilots who don't aren't as serious about their flying. Can you imagine if we had Jack up today? Holy shit. I did too. Some place that they'll let us out. Uh, you might want to mark your video. We have Major Flame. We have Major Flame right now at 10.21 a.m. Or 1019, it depends on what clock you're using. The building is about to collapse. It's buckling, I'm sorry, not collapsing. That's, but it's about to collapse, that's what that means, right, Chad? Chad, you might pull out just a little bit. Oh, you do. Of course you do. Okay. Yeah, we're up. We're still up. We can be up for another half hour, maybe. Depending on fuel. And, and depending on the air traffic control, Anthony, it looks like the building may be starting to buckle. And then we've got major flame. You guys might want to mark your video now. So we're going to war. Stuff starting to fall off the sides, guys. At this point, do firefighters say, everybody get away from the building, just get out of it, not going in? It's just a building. Who do you think did it? Is that good? A little tighter, Chet.
Oh my god, look at that. What is wrong with people? And of course it's a day when you have a major win. So you're having to work your butt off. And they're going to have a harder time fighting the fine. Are you having to go to work today? You're trying to... We can call them when we get to the ground at least. We have our cell phones. You can use it. Hopefully you'll be able to get a signal. The world, you could have been in the downtown Manhattan, for all they know, like running errands. Like, you know, they don't, they don't have to know you were here. We'll be down in just a little bit. We'll call them. Kids are more Brazilian than we ever know. Daniela, just so you know, all the towers for the radio for the airports have been evacuated except for Newark. Newark is still up. Every other heli uh, every other air traffic control tower in this area has been evacuated. Except for Newark. Newark's still up, right? And why is that? So they can monitor if any other aircraft are coming in? Can you imagine you're in Dallas, you're flying like from Chicago to Dallas right now? You don't know that this is going on, but the pilot does. American Airlines planes. First one had 90 passengers, the second one had 60. Yeah, hijack, both of them hijack. First plane, 
hijacked from Boston on the way to California, the sec or to the West Coast. Second one hijacked from Dulles. This was a major effort. One of my very best friends flies for American. Car bomb exploded outside the State Department. this. They, they set up a triage center two and a half blocks away. They have to move that and evacuate that now because they're afraid it's going to... It's going. It's going down now. It's going down now. There it collapses. Oh. It just collapsed. Oh, those poor people. Oh, God. The second tower is gone. Both towers are gone. Oh God. Oh, the humanity. What do you mean they don't have any embassies? We, we are loaded with embassies. Who is it, do you think, guys? Who pays you? We're going to cite you for overtime. You're not allowed to be up today. I mean, they're just, they're gone. They're just gone. And it goes inside. I hope Ralph didn't get close.
Well, we have another 20 minutes worth of fuel. We have to fly probably 10 minutes back. How far? When do we, how much longer will you stay? So we could probably step another 12 minutes as long as air traffic control doesn't ground us. We got 20 minutes on site? We've got 20 minutes more here. 20 more minutes before we have to fuel. And we have to go far away to fuel because, you know, they're not letting us anywhere near anything else. Oh my God, I mean, thousands and thousands of people are dead. Thousands. This makes Oklahoma City look like nothing. Coordinated, uh, this, this, this is unbelievable. Look at all the dust on the ground here. West and BC, the approach to the Brooklyn Bridge. That's from the ground. Like somebody got it from the ground.
There's a fighter jet out here, Chet. Uh, I don't know. Before it was right over it. Let me see. We had it earlier, Anthony. We fed it back earlier. Let me see if you can see it. Uh, that smoke is like 3,000 feet, 4,000 feet. We don't see it. We don't see it. We're looking. Hang on. Anthony, he's probably really high, so you can always get an angle if he has to. Down low, he doesn't have as good sight. Yeah, you know what? He's probably really high, guys. Because what they do is they dive down onto him to get their, uh, get their target. We had him before. What did he just say? Let's not fly that way. Yeah, it's not even going anywhere. My husband blocks, works two blocks away, guys. I'm not kidding. South. Yeah, I know, but look. Tom has asthma. I don't even feel like this is real. It's so overwhelming. It's like I look out there and keep thinking, where is it? And like it's going to clear and it's going to be there. Tomorrow's going to be the w weird day. You know that? We're going to get up and it's going to be real. If we get up. Uh, meanwhile, Chet, your cars, your keys are in my car. My car is in the garage. We'll figure it out. We may not be going home tonight, guys. We may just be working all freaking day. <laughs> More stuff is collapsing. More stuff is collapsing, they just said.
No, I'm not listening to HTC what they say. I have it on now. Get shot down. Just sneak back in really slow and sneak off slow. Chet, as much as this sucks, you're getting beautiful pictures. You're getting beautiful pictures. As much as this sucks, you're doing a fabulous job.